New this morning, News 18 investigates buying and selling old police cars. What's legal and what's not? What has to be done before a private citizen can hit the street with one? And we decided to look into this after several reports of police impersonators across central Indiana over the last few weeks. So here's a look at what we found and what police say the law says. The headlines are enough to rattle any driver's nerves. These people are pulling drivers over and they're targeting women. Police impersonators. Officers are investigating cases in Columbus, Lafayette, and Anderson. And they look like the real thing. They say the impersonator was wearing a uniform. In August, local police arrested a man for impersonating an officer in this squad car lookalike. So we wanted to know what the law says about buying and selling old police cars. Online, we found a self-described fully equipped police package squad car. The seller says the decals would be removed so nobody gets in trouble. There's also this one, the seller offering the car to a police agency or a reserve officer with police ID. Comes fully equipped as you see. We showed them to Lafayette Police. Can anybody go on Craigslist and, and buy a, a police car? To operate a, a police car, I mean, if, if you're buying it for a museum or private collection, you can have it marked up, but to operate it on the streets, mm -hmm. yeah, you can't have a, you can't be operating it a uh, police car. Lieutenant Brian Gossard says it's illegal to drive a marked police car, including decals and red and blue flashing lights, but he says it's not illegal to sell one online. You're saying that you can, this guy can sell this, but whoever buys it, it's up to them to take it off. Right. The law says if you buy a retired police car, you have to paint it a color that no law enforcement agency in Indiana uses. And remember this, actual police officers have to be in a marked police car with red and blue lights to pull you over, or they have to be in full uniform if they're in an unmarked car. We'll have all of this information online this morning at WLFI.com. Yeah, certainly really interesting and kind mm -hmm. of alarming in some sense, but is this a problem in our area? You know, I asked West Police, uh, West Lafayette Police about that. They said not really, that it's important to put this into perspective. One officer told me in his 25 years on the department that August incident it was the only time uh, where he saw an impersonator actually using a retired squad car or what looked like one. And in that case, he said the suspect was trying to weave his way through traffic quicker, not mm. to actually pull somebody over. 